Yo, what's up, guys? Sergio Golan here. Welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm going to be playing with 2.6 Hawk Psycho deck, but without the Hawk Rider, we're going to play with Golden Joe instead. Golden Joe Evolution came out yesterday, so I'm very excited to try this deck. See how we do. I did a similar video, I believe it was like two weeks ago, where I played with Golem instead of the Hawk Rider. That video was yeah, insane. Lots of support, lots of nice comments. So thank you guys so much for the support on that video. Hopefully today's video is also going to be a banger. And if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, where, for example, play with 2.6 Hawk, but without, uh, with, instead of Hawk Rider playing, I don't know, could be anything, guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have a good idea. And maybe if I like your idea, um, yeah, you will see it in the near future. Okay, looks like he has Knight, looks like he has a Bomber. I'm going to go Ice Spirit here to distract the Bomber. Then I'm going to cycle on Ice Golem towards the right side lane. He also has a Cannon. Ooh, this might be... If I would have to take a guess, this might be... Okay, it's not going to be Electro Giant. Oh, it's instead going to be Hawk Rider. Okay, I was thinking about E-Giant. I don't know why when I saw the, the Bomber, the Knight, I was thinking about E-Giant, but instead it's going to be Hawk Rider here. Let's go with Ice Spirit, make sure that the Hawk Rider doesn't get any damage. And then the Musketeer in the meantime is going to be able to DPS down the, the Exit quite a bit. And I think I'm going to keep it at pressure. Let's go with Ice Golem here. Let's go with the Golden Jill. And I'm also going to go Skeletons. Trying to protect the Musketeer a little bit longer. But it looks like he has a delivery. Okay, I was not expecting a delivery. Honestly, I was expecting him to go Bomber up high. And then Knight on top of the Musketeer. I was not expecting, yeah, as I said, delivery from him. Interesting deck by him for sure. Knight, XC, um, Delivery plus Hawk Rider. Not really a deck you, you see often. But definitely interesting deck for sure. And I think we need to keep under pressure, guys. We already cycled the Evolution Goblin Drill, so I'm going to go with Drill here. I'm going to go with the Ice Column first to tank. And then it looks like he does go with the Executioner. Executioner is going to do a pretty good job. But I think we can still yeah, get some damage. And I'm actually going to go for a Fireball here as well. Um, hitting the Cannon, hitting the Tower, and also hitting the um, Exe. And if he goes with Hawk Rider, we have Evil Skeletons available. Or we can just go Cannon. Like, I think Cannon is also a good option. Yeah, let's go actually Cannon here just to make sure that we can defend it well. And then I'm going to go Ice Spirit, making sure that the Executioner is not going to take care of the Cannon like easily. And then afterwards, we do not take any unnecessary damage. Okay, let's go with Skeletons here. Oh, looks like he does go with a Bomber. I think those Skeletons are still going to stay alive a little bit. Not that much time, but we can go with the Ice Golem. He does have the Nado, so I'm going to go with Musketeer afterwards. And I'm also going to go with the Lock, making sure that we do not take too much damage with the Bomber. But the Bomber was still able to get, yeah, quite a lot of damage. The good thing is that we get the Activation. And of course, now having the Activation, having the King Tower activated... It's going to be easier for us to, to get the damage. Okay, let's go here with the um, Drill. Let's go with Skeletons. Let's go with Cannon. Let's go with the Ice Column here as well. And I'm going to go Musketeer. Not sure if he has any other spell besides the Nado. I don't think he showed like a, a Rocket, a Lightning or something yet. We do need to watch out with the XC. Oh my god, the Executioner was almost able to get two shots. But even the XC getting one shot is kind of a um, yeah, big mistake from us actually. Okay, we need to focus up guys. This guy is playing this pretty well even though he has a, a strange deck here. Okay, let's go with Ice Column, let's go with Goblin Geo. What is he going to drop? I think he's going to go with Bomber, right? Or is he going to go... Okay, looks like he goes with Delivery instead. Okay, let's go with Cannon. And then... Oh, he has Lightning. Okay, I was not expecting a Lightning, but not the best Lightning from him. That Hawk Rider is not going to make it to the tower. We can go with Musketeer here to continue distracting the XC. And this match is, yeah, super close, guys. Like, if you guys look at the damage we dealt and then the damage we took, it's basically the same here, actually. Okay, let's go Fireball here offensively. Let's go with a lock here as well onto the, um, the Knight and then also the Bomber. And then the Drill is able to get quite a lot of damage. Musketeer is actually still alive as well. So Musketeer is able to clean up pretty much everything. Then he's probably going to go with a Hawk Rider sometime soon. There you go. There's the Hawk Rider. Okay, knowing that he has Lightning, I'm not going to go Lightning on defense. Instead, I'm going to go Cannon here up high. And then I'm going to try to go with um, Evil Skeletons. Okay, let's go Evil Skeletons here. Let's then go with the Ice Spirit. Hopefully the XE is not able to kill everything. Let's go with the Lock as well on defense. In the meantime, we're getting a lot of damage on offense, by the way. I think that's already almost spell um, yeah, cycle range. You just need to be careful here, but I think we pretty much got the victory. Um, I would say almost secured. Let's see. Let's go with Cannon. Let's go with the Musketeer off to the side. Goblins are able to... No, are not able to get a connection. We do need to watch out with the Lightning. But I think at this point, we can just uh, spell cycle him. Like, I don't think we need to... Um, how do you say, try to get the damage with the drill, I think we should be able to just get the damage here by uh, spell cycling, especially now being in triple elixir, this, this deck cycles insanely quick, really good game, that was actually a close match, he played that pretty well, um, like I was kind of surprised, I was kind of confused why he was running the Hawk Rider with the delivery, with the knight, with the bomber, but we did end up getting the victory, pretty nice defense, while also slowly but surely chipping away his right tower with the goblins drill there, let's see if we can keep up going like this. Okay, let's go guys, hoping into game number two, looks like we're up against, I would say, Chinese player, let's give him a good luck and let's see what he's gonna be running, let's start off by cycling skeletons and I'm gonna go with the ice spirit as well. 
Okay, so, okay, looks like he has skeletons, looks like he has a phoenix, could be a lot of stuff, but looks like he also has a mortar, interesting deck for sure by him, I'm gonna respond as fast as possible with the cannon, trying to, yeah, just directly take care of the mortar without um, causing us any problems. Okay, so skeletons, phoenix, mortar, I'm gonna go goblin jewel towards the left side, maybe I should have done it a little bit earlier, so then the cannon maybe can, yeah, get some value on whatever troop he drops afterwards, it looks like he has a bomber as well, so bomber... Ooh, this is looking, I would say, Electro Giant. I was thinking about it already last game as well. Maybe this guy is also going to have a Hawk Rider. I don't think so. I think this time it is indeed going to be an um, Electro Giant deck. I could be wrong, but it's definitely looking like one to me. Oh, nice Nado by him. I was not expecting the Nado, like, kind of aggressive there. Okay, do we need to look? I don't think so, right? Yeah, I don't think we need to look. I think the Bomber might be able to... Yeah, the Bomber is able to get a shot. But I guess it's fine. In the meantime, the Goblins on the left side are also going to get a little bit of damage. And then here, okay, he does go with a mortar. Is that mortar even well placed? That was kind of a strange position, right? But I think it was well placed. I'm not completely sure, but it's looking like a, a good mortar to me. Let's go with Musketeer here as well to distract the, the final mortar shot. Let's then go with Ice Golem here, and then I think I'm going to pressure both lanes. Okay, the good thing is that we have the Evil Drill available. What I'm going to do is go Ice Spirit here, go Skeletons, and then I'm going to go Goblin Drill here towards the right side as well. I'm not sure if the Skeletons are going to be tanked for. No, unfortunately, they are not tanked for, but the Goblin Drill is still able to hopefully get a good amount of damage um, on the right side tower. Okay, nice. We do get a little bit of damage, but nothing too crazy. And then actually, yeah, once again, pretty difficult situation. I feel like last match, also pretty difficult situation. This time, once again, not an easy situation, but I think we should be fine. Like, if we play it well, Ken here is able to deal with the Evil Mortar, Ice Spirit to deal with the Phoenix, and then especially if he does end up having the um, Electro Giant, which I think he should, we should be fine on defense because we just have such a yeah, quick cycle. We can cycle lots of cannons, and we can also try to cycle lots of uh, Golden Jills if necessary on defense as well. Okay, let's go with Ice Golem, let's go with Musketeer. He's probably going to go Bowler, right? Or what is he going to do? Is he going to... Okay, yeah, there you go. There's the Bowler. Okay, I was already expecting him to bowler. I don't think I should go into the bowler to be honest. So I'm just going to cycle here in the meantime. Um, with the Musketeer, let's go with Ice Spirit. Let's go with Skeletons. He's probably going to go Nado. Looks like he does go with a Bomber um, Evo. Let's go with Fireball quickly on top of that. He does also have a Lightning. Oh my god, that Lightning was really good. That Lightning was really, really good, guys. Let's let it be for now. Let's go with the Ice Column here as well. And then I'm going to go with Skeletons offensively against the Mortar. And afterwards, go with a Goblin Drill. Okay, bomb, uh, Bowler in the meantime also getting quite a lot of damage, but we kind of equal up the damage. In the meantime, I'm going to go with the Ice Spirit here. Okay, so pretty rough situation, I'm not going to lie. I felt like this was going to be way easier for us because Electro Giant, in my head, like in my opinion, it was just going to be like um, cycling lots of cannons, defending as good as possible, while also getting yeah good damage with the drills. But it's actually kind of hard to yeah, get the drills all over the tower because he has um, Bomber, he has Bowler, he has so many good answers against the drill. He even activates the King Tower there. We do end up getting a decent amount of damage, so this is definitely like a winnable spot for us. But at the same time, it's not being yeah, easy for sure. Okay, let's go with a lock here. Let's go with the Ice Column. He actually goes with a Bowler onto the right side. Wait, this is a good opportunity for us to go with Drill. I'm going to go Fireball on top of the Bomber for sure to try and get as, uh, as much damage as possible with this Goblin Drill and take, the, take advantage of the fact that he just um, yeah, cycled the Bowler. I think that was a big mistake from him, by the way. Cycling the Bowler in a situation like that is not really something... You should do, in my opinion, but let's see how it turns out for him. Okay, let's go here. Let's then go with a cannon here up high as well. Let's go with Ice Spirit to distract. Should I go Fireball? Okay, I think I'm going to go Fireball, but um, hitting the tower as well, because we need the damage. Okay, let's go Goblin Drill. And then we know that he has Lightning, so we need to be careful with the Lightning. He's probably going to Lightning sometime soon, or is he not? Okay, looks like he's not. Okay, that's actually good for us, because then the Drill buys us some more time to deal with the... Um, with Electro Giant, let's go with a Musketeer here off to the side. Let's go with a Log, let's go with Skeletons. I'm gonna go Cannon here to distract. And then we do need to watch out with the Phoenix. Okay, Phoenix is not able to lock onto the tower. We're doing a good job at staying alive, but this match is really, really close. Like, he's actually playing this really well right now. Okay, let's go Cannon up high. I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna go Fireball here, actually. Okay, we do need to watch out with the Cannon because the Cannon is gonna die. Let's go with the Ice Spirit. Let's go with uh, Skeletons. I'm gonna go with Cannon like this, because he's probably gonna go Lightning. Exactly, I knew that he was gonna go Lightning. That's why I went with the Anti-Lightning spot, and then this Drill might be able to get something going. Let's go Fireball, and if necessary, we can Spell Cycle him as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and Spell Cycle him here. Okay, let's go like this. Let's go with um, Ice Golem like that. And then we need to Fireball as soon as possible. Okay, please tell me that it's enough damage, guys. Please tell me that it's enough damage. Okay, we need to watch out with the Mortar. Please tell me that the Mortar... Okay, the Mortar is not on top of the tower. 
Bomber, oh my god, I don't know if that evil bomber would have connected. That was a crazy evil bomber by him. It's given a good game. Definitely really well played by him. I'm actually surprised that we're having yeah, so many matches. Well, not so many close matches, but last match was also really intense. This match felt like a, a world finals match, like we were not able to break through. We had to try and do our best to defend as good as possible. And then in the end, we yeah, had such a base rage uh, with the damage. He was just lightning cycling us. And I was trying to get as much damage on the left side tower as possible. Okay, let's focus up, guys. Let's go with skeletons. Let's go with a lock. This could be a um, lock bait. Could be a lot of stuff, to be honest. Goblin Gang is also used in other decks. In this case, he has Skelly Barrel. So it might be looking at his profile because I think he had recruits on his profile. It might be that one recruits deck with, um, I believe, yeah, with, uh, with Mighty Miner, with recruits, with sometimes Firecracker, sometimes with Dark Goblin. I guess we will see what version this guy is going to be running. Okay, let's see. Let's go with Ice Golem here in the meantime towards the right side. Looks like it is indeed going to be the Firecracker version. Let's then go with Skeletons here to distract the Mighty Miner a little bit. And if he pops the ability, we can maybe go with Musketeer. But it looks like he's just going to yeah, let it be. Okay, so Recruits. I mean, we should be pretty good against these type of decks. We have Quick Cycle. We have Lock. We have Musketeer. We have Cannon to distract the, um, the Skelly Bear as well. But at the same time, he does have a lot of yeah, spammy cards. Like, I feel like it's not gonna. we're not going to have enough spells... Even having a quick cycle with lock with fireball because this deck just has so many different ways to pressure and to be annoying. Okay, recruits in the meantime get quite a lot of damage. Let's go with lock here onto the right side tower. And then I'm thinking about going drill, but then at the same time, not having lock and cycle, him having goblin gang. I don't think it's really worth it, so I'm just gonna let the yeah, musketeer be here. Okay, nice. We can get a king tower activation actually because we can go musketeer in this spot. His firecracker is gonna shoot the musketeer. Activate the King Tower, and that's going to help us out quite a bit for sure against these spammy decks. Okay, nice. Let's then go, I would say, with Drill. We can maybe go Goblin Drill like this, and then I'm going to try and get... Um, okay, okay. let's wait a little bit here. Let's wait a little bit here, because he does have the recruits. Let's go with Ice Golem here to distract Cannon in the meantime. And then I think, okay, let's go look left side. And do we need to drop anything else? I think I might need to... Yeah, let's distract the recruit a little bit more. Then he does go with his Skelly Barrel. Okay, Skelly Barrel here is going to get a lot of damage. I think I need the Fireball. I'm not going to lie. I don't think we should have done anything else besides the Fireball there. Maybe if I went with a Musketeer early on to destroy the Skeletons, that also could have been a good play. But besides that, I don't really think we had um, yeah, a great option there. Okay, let's actually try to focus on pressuring more. I feel like at this point, I'm just only defending. I'm not really able to attack myself. And I think we should try to yeah, attack a little bit more. Okay, let's go like this. Let's then go with Ice Spirit. Let's go with Evil Skeletons. Let's then go with a Musketeer. And hopefully the Evil Skeletons... No, I wanted to say hopefully the Evil Skeletons can get a lot of value. But it looks like it actually yeah, goes down almost instantly. Okay, let's go look like this. Let's then go with Ice Spirit. I'm going to go Cannon here on defense. And I'm going to go, I would say, with Goblin Jewel as well. Goblin Jewel to, to try and block the Wall Breaker and to also distract the... Um, ooh, okay, nice. I mean, the Drill is unfortunately the Evolution Drill, so it's not really something you want to spend. But at the same time there, it kind of yeah was necessary to, to save the match. Okay, let's see. Let's go with Musketeer with the left side. I don't know why. I feel like in all matches so far, we're in such um, yeah difficult situation, right? Like, I feel like in all matches so far, we had to make a comeback or we, we had to, like, really focus up to, to not end up losing. Okay, let's go with Musketeer. In the meantime, the Warbreakers are going to connect, but I guess it's fine. We can equal up the damage. Skeletons are also going to get a little bit of chip damage. But, yeah, I don't know what to do. Like, honestly, he has just has so many spam cards. He has so many cards which are really annoying for us to deal with. I'm going to go Fireball here, predicting Skeletons or Goblins or whatever he has in his deck. Let's, in the meantime, go with Ice Golem, and let's go with Skeletons here as well. Okay, let's go with Lock offensively. Skeletons are able to get a lot of damage, a lot of value. And let's go with Musketeer in the meantime. Okay, let's go Musketeer. Let's go with the Cannon up high. Cannon is able to distract the Mighty Miner. Is making, um, yeah, the Skeleton Barrel pop and then okay we can still win like honestly i know that we can still win it's just a really difficult situation right now okay let's see let's go with lock offensively and then i think i'm gonna go yeah let's focus on defense now let's go with musketeer let's go with skeletons in the meantime those goblins are gonna get a little bit of damage let's go with ice golem here as well let's go with ice spirit defensively and i'm gonna go fireball on top of everything okay nice good fireball let's go with cannon on defense and then we can still win guys i know that i can still win i just don't know how we can yeah, finish the match here Okay, let's go with a musketeer. Let's have the ice golem ready. I think I'm gonna go ice golem plus the evil drill towards the right side. Okay, he gave us a really good fireball. Let's go fireball now. Let's go with a lock as well. Let's then go with the ice spirit. I'm gonna go ice golem here to, to block everything. And then let's go with a cannon on defense. Wait, did I miss the fireball? Or did he cycle another firecracker? Did I just miss the fireball on the right side or what happened there? Okay, let's go with another goblin drill. We can maybe still win this. I'm not gonna lie. Like, we still have a chance. Just not gonna be easy. 
Okay, let's go like this. Let's go with a lock here as well. And then we need to try and somehow cycle back to... Okay, skeletons here as well. Let's go with cannon. We need to somehow cycle back to a fireball. Okay, nice. Wait, did we get it? No, fortunately we did not get it. I feel like I played really well. I definitely made some mistakes here and there. Especially that one time that one time when we took some damage with the Scalibur on the left side. I probably should have went with Musketeer like, um, yeah, reactively, like react really quick. Whenever you went with the Skelly Brawl, but it just has so many spam cards. Like this deck, such an annoying deck. I know a lot of players have been using it in the current meta. Definitely a solid deck, definitely a strong deck, but it's so annoying to play against. Even though I had Musketeer, Quick Cycle, Lock Fireball, it just has so many spam cards. Like you can never have enough spells in your deck to deal with all the spam yeah, cards he has. Okay, hoping into the last match, guys. Look, you're up against a guy called Mattia. I actually recognize his name. I believe he used to... I think be a top player. I'm not sure if he still plays the game a lot. But this, that, this guy definitely yeah, used to be a really, really good player before. Okay, let's go here with the... Uh, I think it's a 2.6 player as well. Okay, we're going to play 2.6 against 2.6. But our 2.6 doesn't have the Hawk Rider. Like our 2.6 um, has the Goblin Drill. Okay, there you go. There's the Hawk Rider. Let's go with Cannon here. Let's then go with Skeletons as well. We do need to watch out if he goes with a Lock. And then he does also go with a Musketeer. Okay, let's see, guys. This is going to be an interesting one. Like, I think he's not going to expect us to have the drill, so that's a good thing for us. Let's go with Ice Spirit here. Let's then go with a Fireball defensively. Um, I'm not sure if we need to drop. Yeah, I think we definitely had to drop something else, because if not, the Musketeer was going to get some damage. And then we did not use the drill yet. So I'm thinking when would be, like, a really good moment to go with the Goblin Drill. Okay, we need to, yeah, think about how to play this match. I'm thinking right now, like, what is going to be key in this match, of course, good defense. Trying to get fireball value on top of his musketeer is also a good thing to do. And then we need to be careful with his evolutions. I think he's already yet yeah, to the evil skeletons for sure. Okay, nice. He uses the lock. Wait, that's a good thing for us. We can actually go drill. We can go with skeletons here as well. And then we can maybe get something going with the skeletons. Looks like he goes with evil ice spirit. And here he tries to outcycle us with the ice golem plus hawk rider. He is able to outcycle us. Let's go with a cannon. And I'm going to have to fireball here because we did end up using the lock. Of course, I don't want to risk yeah, getting um, those evil skeletons on top of my tower. Okay, so we're losing by 10 HP right now. This is like the exact mirror matchup. But just yeah, him having the hawk rider like the classic version. And we're, of course, in today's video trying it with the evil drill. Okay, let's see, guys. This is kind of scary. We do have the drill available to go with um, on defense against the Hawk Rider if he does go with the Hawk Rider now, which I think he might try and do. Let's see if he does. Let's go with Ice Spirit here. Looks like he is going to... Yeah, he's definitely going to go with Hawk Rider. Let's go with Drill. Let's go with Ice Golem here as well. And I'm going to go with Musketeer. Okay, let's go Musketeer. Let's go with Lock. And I think I'm going to Ice Spirit. Making sure that the Hawk Rider does not hit twice. Let's go with Skeletons here as well. And then the Musketeer is not able to get any other damage. Okay, good. We have the Evil Drill available. That's a good thing for us right now. Let's go with Evil Drill. Let's go with the Ice Golem. And let's have the Fireball ready on offense as well. Let's see if he goes with like a... Okay, he does go with Hawk Rider. Let's go with Fireball offensively. I think it's a good play. Nice. Pretty good Fireball. The Drill is not really able to get any damage though. That Drill is... Okay, it's also not really able to get any damage. Okay, this is a really close match once again. I feel like all matches in today's video have been extremely close so far. Okay, let's go with Goblin Drill. Let's go with the Ice Spirit here. And then I'm going to go Evil Skeletons just to yeah, kill the Ice Golem as soon as possible, actually. Okay, let's go Cannon here as well. And then I don't think I need to drop anything else. We can maybe keep up the cycle. Let's go here with a Lock. Let's go with Ice Spirit. I'm going to go... Okay, let's go with Drill on defense. And I think I'm going to have to Fireball here as well. Okay, let's go with Fireball, making sure that we don't take any damage with the Hawk Rider. But the bad thing is that we spent the Fireball on defense... And he spent the fireball on offense. So that, of course, gives him yeah, more damage on our left side tower than, like, we dealt on his right side tower. Okay, let's go with a musketeer here. And I don't really know what to do. Like, I'm kind of lost in this situation. I, I don't really, yeah, used to play 2.6 mirror matches. So I'm kind of, yeah, thinking about what should I do here. Okay, let's go like this. Let's go with a musketeer. Let's go with an ice spirit. Please tell me that the Hawk Rider, no, the Hawk Rider gets a shot. Okay, that's a really bad thing for us to happen. Okay, let's go like this though. I think we can maybe get something going here. Let's go with Ice Column. Let's go with Evil Skeleton Split. I'm going to have the Fireball ready against this cannon. Let's go with Fireball now offensively. And then the Evil Skeletons on the left side are not able to connect, but they are still able to yeah, apply quite a lot of pressure and force out some defense there. Okay, 2700 HP left on his tower. Let's go with a Lock. Let's go with a cannon then afterwards on um, offense or on defense. And let's then go on offense here with a Goblin Geo plus Skeletons. And I think I'm also going to go Fireball because he's probably going to go with a cannon. Exactly. Okay, nice fireball. That was able to hit the cannon, able to hit the ice spirit. Let's go with a lock here as well. Let's go with the ice spirit. And I'm going to go with another goblin Joe offensively. Let's go with skeletons here as well. And then I'm just going to try and cycle fireball offensively once again. 
Okay, let's go with Kellen. He's definitely back to another Hawk Rider, so I need to be careful with the Hawk Rider right now. He's probably gonna go Hawk Rider sometime soon. Let's go with Ice Spirit. Let's go with Skeletus. He does get a Lock Prediction. Let's go with Ice Golem here as soon as possible. And then I'm gonna go Goblin Drill. Okay, let's go Lock on Defense. Let's go with Ice Spirit here. Let's go with Skeletons. Please tell me the Ice Spirit. Okay, the Ice Spirit was able to distract the Hawk Rider. Look at the Goblins go. Okay, nice. The Goblins are connecting. Goblin Drill here on offense. He goes with Hawk Rider defensively. Let's go with a Lock on offense. Let's then go with Ice Spirit. And we need to be careful now. Okay, only 20 seconds left, guys. What is even happening right now? What a crazy match here. Let's go with Cannon High. Let's then go with a Musketeer. We need to be careful with this uh, push by him. Okay, let's see. Let's go lock on defense. Let's go fireball on offense. Hawk Rider is not able to get a connection. And we do end up getting the victory. What a crazy match. What a crazy end to yeah, end today's video. Lots of fun. This is a pretty difficult deck to play. I feel like um, with Hawk Rider, it's such a different play style. Then with the Goblin Jill, I wasn't really able to adapt that well, but we still ended up getting three victories. We did end up losing that one match, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, yet, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.